we're now like halfway into the NBA season, meaning we have a clear vision of who all the main MVP candidates are. At the start of the season, everyone was saying Steph Curry was running away with the MVP award, but lately with his terrible play, other players have come into the mix and I actually think other players have surpassed him in the race. At the current moment, the guy who I think deserves the MVP but isn't getting talked about as much is Kevin Durant. So that has led me to make this video where I'll be discussing Kevin Durant's MVP case. Basically just giving all the reasons as to why I think he's the MVP right now. But before we get into the video, I ask you to drop a like on this video as it does on my channel grow. Subscribe to my channel if you want daily NBA content. Also, if you want to reach my goal of 3,000 subscribers. Also, drop a comment on this video as I do respond to all of my comments. Play that intro. first reason I think Kevin Durant is the MVP is due to the fact that right now he is leading his team to a top record in the conference. And obviously, with the MVP award, 9 times out of 10, you can only win the MVP if your team is at the top of the conference, and that's definitely a huge advantage to KD. Because when you look at teams like the Bulls that like are like that have a better record than KD's team right now, the Nets, the Bulls' best player right now and guy with the strongest case for MVP is DeMar DeRozan, who is playing out of his mind. But in my opinion, in, in my opinion, DeRozan simply does not have a stronger case than Kevin Durant, and I think it's pretty obvious why his stats aren't as good. Also, when you just look at how much injuries and COVID losses the Nets have had to go through, it's really impressive that they're the second seed in the Eastern Conference. And to be honest, Kevin Durant has definitely been holding up a lot of the load because he's been playing a lot of minutes and his team has definitely been relying on him a lot. His team record is better than most of the other candidates because they have a better record than Giannis's Bucks. They have a better record than Nikola Jokic's Nuggets. They have a better record than LeBron's Lakers. And that's definitely a huge advantage. The only like real real candidate who has a better record than Kevin Durant's team is Steph Curry's team the Warriors But I don't think Steph's the MVP right now And obviously guys like Chris Paul, Donovan Mitchell, or DeMar DeRozan are leading their teams to better records than Kevin Durant If we're being honest, we all know none of those guys are gonna actually win the MVP award So Durant's team record is definitely a huge advantage that he has over a lot of the other candidates I definitely think it's gonna help his case to win the second reason I think Kevin Durant is the MVP is because honestly he's putting up some of the most impressive stats in the league right now. He's actually having one of the best seasons of his career coming off of his Achilles injury because it's actually really impressive. Because I remember when Kevin Durant was returning from like that Achilles injury, a lot of people were saying he won't be his usual self, that it'll take him like a year to get back to his usual self and he's been looking as good as he ever has been. So far this season, Durant is averaging 30 points, 8 rebounds, and 6 assists, shooting 52% from the field, and 37% from 3. Crazy impressive numbers. I generally don't know what other players are putting up more, like, more impressive stats. He's on an absolute tear, I'm arguably having his best season for being honest. He's also the leading scorer in the league, he's doing a phenomenal efficiency. He's actually one of the better all-around players in the league right now, because 8 rebounds is one of the highest marks in his career and six assists I think might be a career high. His numbers are definitely more impressive than Steph Curry's 26 points, five rebounds, and six assists on 42% from the field. Not saying Steph is playing bad or anything, but he's simply not playing on Kevin Durant's level. I'll give Kevin Durant the slight edge when you compare him to Giannis' stat line of 28 points, 11 rebounds, and 5 assists on 52% from the field. There's not a huge difference between them, but I think overall you have to give Kevin Durant the edge. To be honest, I think Kevin Durant's stats are literally equivalent to LeBron James' stat line of 29 points, 7 assists, and 7 rebounds while shooting 52% from the field and 36% from 3. I don't think there's a huge difference between those guys. I'd say they're pretty similar. They're literally putting up like nearly the same amount of points, the same amount of rebounds, same amount of assists, on same amount of efficiency. Nikola Jokic is the only guy who I think is putting up more impressive numbers than Durant. He's putting up 26 points, 14 rebounds, and 7 assists, shooting 56% from the field and 35% from three. 
Jokic is putting up the most impressive stats in the league. I will give him that. He's having a historic season. No one's really talking about it. That's a time for another day. But overall, when you compare Kevin Durant to all of these other candidates, he's putting up more impressive stats than nearly all of them. That is definitely a huge factor because whoever wins the MVP is always the guy who puts up the best stats on one of the best teams in the league. And you realize that Jokic's team is the seventh seed. That's definitely not helping Jokic's case. The third reason I think Kevin Durant is the MVP MVP is due to the fact that he just compares very well to the other candidates because in my opinion the top five candidates for the MVP right now is Nikola Jokic, Steph Curry, LeBron James, Kevin Durant, and Giannis Antetokounmpo. That was not in any particular order. When you compare Kevin Durant case to Steph Curry's, I think Kevin Durant is significantly above him because although Kevin Durant the team does not have a, as strong of a record as the Warriors are like the best team in the record, best team in the league record wise whereas KD's team is like the fifth best team in the league individually as players KD has just been better because Steph has been really inconsistent some games he'll drop 40 points some games he'll drop 15 and KD has never had a stretch as bad as Steph and that definitely should be considered into consideration also Steph has just hasn't been as efficient as he has been in the past before Steph would be like the second most efficient player in the league behind like KD but for some reason he's only been like slightly above average this year which is kind of odd I'm not saying Curry's been trash or anything but Kevin Durant has just been better also, I think Kevin Durant is above Giannis Antetokounmpo simply because Kevin Durant has a better team record, although that can change because the Bucks are only like half a game behind the Nets. And I also think Kevin Durant's stats are a little more impressive. And I just think voter fatigue is going to keep catching up to Giannis because I don't think the media is like ready to vote for him. I think maybe like next season he could win the MVP. But remember, he won two MVPs in a row and then... They just wouldn't even vote him in last year, even though he actually had a strong case. But not gonna lie, after the playoffs and him winning the ring, maybe he actually could win the MVP. But he definitely needs more hype because he doesn't really have that much hype right now. When you compare Kevin Durant to Nikola Jokic's MVP case, Jokic is the only guy in the league who's putting up more impressive numbers than KD, but Jokic's team is also below 500 and they're the seventh seed, and despite Jokic probably being the most valuable player to his team, because if Jokic is not on the Nuggets, they're probably the worst team in the league. But his lack of wins is just holding him back too much, and it's not like Kevin Durant is putting up like bum numbers or something. KD's putting up the second most impressive stats in the league, our third so he definitely has the edge over Jokic and he just has a lot more hype under his name because a lot of people are sleeping on Jokic's amazing season when you compare Kevin Durant to LeBron they're putting up like similar stats in terms of impressiveness the only reason I give Kevin Durant the edge is because of his team record which is just way better than the Lakers record but the Lakers have been winning as of late so who knows maybe LeBron's gonna get back in there but at his current moment, there's no way LeBron is over KD in the MVP race. And I'm saying this as a LeBron fan. So I literally just compared KD to all the other main candidates. He literally has a like case for all of them. The only guy you could argue he doesn't have a case over, in my opinion, is Giannis Antetokounmpo. Anyways, guys, that's it for the video. Let me know whether or not you think KD is the MVP. Drop a like on this video to help my channel grow. Subscribe to my channel if you want daily NBA content. Also, if you want to reach my goal of 3,000 subscribers, also drop a comment on this video as I do respond to all of my comments. And play that intro.